I don't know what's difficult for the SNP to understand. The First Minister. The First Excuse Minister. Me, Mr. Ross. Can we please hear Mr. Ross? Thank you. The First Minister is trying to predict what I would see at First Minister's questions, has a script ready to yeah. answer yeah. that yeah. had nothing to do with the yeah, issue absolutely. that we are raising. It's about SNP raising the cost of driving cars in cities that people rely on to get to work, to visit friends and family, to use vital services. Three questions so far to the First Minister and zero answers. It was a very straightforward question. Would the First Minister rule out road tolls being reintroduced in Scotland? And she was silent, didn't even attempt to answer that question. But of course, across the Chamber, all parties agree on the need to do more to meet our climate change targets. But, well, well, SNP members laugh about this, but in many industries, and across rural, and across rural areas especially, people still need their cars. Yeah. And right yeah. now, there couldn't yeah. be a worse time to further hike the cost of driving. We're in the middle of a cost of living crisis. Petrol prices are rising globally. Yet Nicola Sturgeon wants to tax people off the road by hammering anyone who owns a car. Yeah. And the people who will be hit hardest are not the wealthiest, but ordinary working people who need their cars mm -hmm. and who are already struggling with the cost of living. If the First Minister carries on down this road, Nicola Sturgeon and her SNP candidates are going to force Scotland's economy into the slow lane. The commuter tax should be abandoned. Toll charges should be ruled out, First Minister, and her workplace parking tax should be ditched. First Minister, will you drop this triple whammy of anti-driver taxes? First Minister, I don't, I don't support uh, road tolls, but I do support local councils being empowered to consider the tough issues that they face, to consult with the public and to take excuse sensible me, First decisions. First Minister, excuse Let me, me First, Minister. First Sorry, Minister, we will hear the First Minister, yeah. thank you. But the final point I would make, Presiding Officer, which I know is one that Douglas Ross uh, will not want to face up to, what is hammering at people, including motorists right now across the country, is the Tory-created cost of living yeah. crisis. Yeah. Which an out of touch Prime Minister and an out of touch Chancellor of the Exchequer refused to do enough about. Perhaps we should focus on the immediate problems being faced by people and the solutions that need to come from Douglas Ross's colleagues at Westminster.